I just want to talk about something uh, personal that I'm forced to talk about at this point. It's uh, this is live. I've been wanting to keep it relatively calmer and less uh, less public, but uh, I've been forced by the by the various events because people have discovered about it, and so I might as well talk about it instead of letting rumors develop and all of the. Uh, all of the messy information that can step uh, that can stem from it. Um, so yeah, it's the disappearance of Mama JF. <laughs> Mama JF has been disappearing, in the sense of not leaving, uh, not leaving any contact, not leaving information about where she was. Uh, and I titled my episode "The Cost of Liberty" because I didn't want any of this. Check out the I'm just a that family guy, and I've always been wanting to provide and <laughs> secure for people use. around me. Uh, but there is one thing I cannot do in our society. I cannot stop you from doing crazy stuff. I cannot stop you from exposing yourself to risks when you say the words, I want to do it. When, when you claim your own liberty, you are on your own, and I cannot do anything to protect you. And so <clears throat> that, uh, I don't know if Mama JF is in danger. I don't know where she is. Uh, but at this point, I'm forced to talk about it because people are spreading rumors on the internet because, so, so I, I'll just give you my, <clears throat> my perspective on all of this. And, and, you know, people are, are accusing me of murder on, on the internet. <laughs> it's like, you guys don't know, you guys don't know the police. I've been speaking with the feds on well, an everyday basis that's not good. Uh, for a couple of days that's now, not usually or a good maybe sign, uh, I don't know. Maybe get a, a law, your neck. For a couple oh of days, God. I've been speaking uh, to the police. Don't do <coughs> on get a, a regular basis. Now. So it all stems from Mama JF. You guys know, and I've stated it publicly. In June, she left. Really she didn't to talk want. To you. Uh, she. I mean, it's not even clear why she left. And Sorry. she's done it in the past. You guys have seen it, who have been following the show for years. Uh, she, she wanted to go away. So that's, that's all uh, we often know with Mama JF. She wants to go away. She had done it once and had come back uh, to us um, weeks after. Uh, and you no, remember, okay, yeah. she, Thank you, she brother. came on the show on the day she came back. We've been covering And blade. she said something along the lines of, uh, well, I thought you, want, you didn't want to be with me anymore. Uh, and so, <clears throat> and, and I said to her, no, no, you left of your own will. Uh, but, but she says yes. And then she says yes, but I thought, I thought you wanted me to leave. That is sometimes the, the state of delusion in female minds. And I can't do anything about this. I have zero control over this. If we were in the society, the Christian society of 1920, oh, you want to snipe the chat? maybe I could file some report and say, hey, my wife is a little crazy. Fine, She's you want to a little the chat. out there. Can I control? Can, can I own her, basically? <laughs> and I'm sure that, that there were... Uh, I mean, basically, you didn't have to file that paper in 1920s. Because in the, in the 1920s, this was called marriage. <laughs> but we are not in the 1920s, and we no, are in not. 2023, where uh, we have an experiment going on in society. What happens when you let these females do whatever the You're fuck they You're not helping yourself, well, JF. <clears throat> what happens is that they sometimes make bad decisions. So um, in June, she left, and... Uh, what happened there? And two okay. days after leaving, so she left and she had Choose a whole plan. Words she had, she had bought uh, camping material. She was on her way to some sort of survivalist trip. From what I understood, what? it looked no, like she was what? preparing for life in the wild. No. Uh, she Dad. promised me when she left. This doesn't sound good. That she would always be reachable and that I would be able to reach her to deal with you took all of the to official the of the papers. You know that she owns a lot of stuff and Stop sometimes talking. I need her signature. And I was like, and, and although, you know, we, we do have legal remedies for this. I was like, uh, if you totally disappear, you might put me in trouble on some bills. Yes, and some, no! You know, getting utilities and everything. So, so she promised to me that she wouldn't fully disappear. 
Um, you should have recorded and, that. Um, she went away. And two days later, she she talked to me on the phone and you sent a message. By, you by had the way, phone. everything oh I, I tell you is things I have told to the police. This is so terrible. It's, uh, it's not, uh, there's no secret coming out that you guys are hearing. To, it might be secret from a public perspective, but it's all things that the feds have been knowing for a couple of days. So the Dude, last uh, message indicted. that she sends me uh, in June, two days after leaving, and it had been apparent, I think I, I may have been in contact for a couple of times during these two days. What? So I was sure that she was progressing through whatever trip she wanted to do. I knew that she was still alive. Uh, but two days uh, after leaving, she says, I have changed my plans. I will not hold my promise uh, toward you. I will not be reachable. And, I, and it's like, okay. Uh, I, uh, she says, I have a new ah. plan. And I need a cigarette. I'm like, does your new plan involve any sort of attack against me or the family? JF, stop! Because you guys know how, much, uh, how important that is to me. She JF. says, you don't have to be worried. My new plan does not involve you. I'm just going to change This is one of the craziest things. This may be the craziest thing. Now, I knew that you. she had left without any sort of electronic tracking. You know how the police can track you with your credit card, with your debit card. Yeah, She had left can. with nothing but her phone. So when she said that to me through text... <sighs> I conclude that, okay, she's going off grid. You know, she's yes, going Yes, he is full giving a mode of jungle. That's what I'm saying. Stop talking. <laughs> and kind of in her, in, in her fashion. The police I mean, are watching this right now, I guarantee. Is. So changing her phone, to me, it meant I'm, I'm dropping potentially my own identity behind. I'm potentially disappearing in nature. I'm potentially, I mean, she could be anywhere from there. Uh, so, and that's what I was explaining to the police. You know, Mama JF... Uh, you, you remember the story she told on her video on YouTube where she talked about crossing the border in, in Spain and in the enclaves of Spain in North Africa? You can't do Mama that. Mama Jeff is a fucking extreme, like, 007 level of, like, crazy fugitive mentality. Uh, and I, I was kind of telling that to the police uh, jokingly, half-jokingly, but it's like she she's a professional fugitive who doesn't commit crimes <laughs> so it's like she's gonna be hiding from you as as hard as she can while also not having anything to reproach to herself but that's just how she is so i mean she, she and so from there i'm like i'm gonna drop myself behind i'm going to disappear uh, you're not going to be able to reach me so that is uh, what i've been <sighs> knowing since june and of course, you're faced with the big, should I call the police? This is a willing woman, a willing adult woman uh, doing her willing stuff. So I've not called the police because in my view, there was no evidence of criminality. There was no evidence of now. distress. It looked like, to me, someone who has decided to and again, go I don't know if you did it or not, but this is not good. Will I report someone for being survivalist? I mean... This reminds me of the of the Facebook post, you know, it, as one of your loved ones gone to survivalism, as one of your loved one bought too much campaign material. He thinks he's too smart. <laughs> that is literally one of don't the Facebook laugh, book posts. But I don't want to be in the society where buying camping material gets Dude, you, you reported went, but... to the feds, and I am bound. I am bound to Mama JF Santeras because Shovel, I've bleach, loved her and I rope. still love her and I still consider I, I consider myself allied to her forever. Uh, forever, no matter what she does, even if she goes out there going uh, getting other boyfriends, I Gloves. consider myself tied to her forever. So at this point, I'm in front of this information and I've decided that this was not warranting a call to the police in june and i've spoke to her i've spoken to her family and they thought similarly you know this is mama jf uh, <clears throat> she is an out there woman and uh, it's not the first time she does this uh, in the absence of any evidence of harm last. or that she's 
she's doing something evil to someone else. There's no reason to call the police. And in fact, we even had someone in the family. I'm stunned. Uh, talked loosely to a federal investigator who was friends with us and just asking, you know, what is this? Is this a disappearance or is this just a woman? Uh, <laughs> just a woman doing whatever she wants. And, and, and the, the investigator had actually, I mean, from what I heard, this is not an interaction that I had myself. JF! But someone who was worried in the family spoke to an investigator and said, uh, look, this, those are the facts. It's a woman. She leaves like this. She wanted to leave. She gets herself equipped with camping material and all. Is this a disappearance? Is this something we should signal? <laughs> Go ahead. And uh, the Tell investigator had said, well, no, this looks like a, a, a consensual trip. Copies of JF's book. So I was Time reassured that not only Netflix was my judgment uh, converging toward uh, the fact that Mama one? JF Fuck. does I wish not I had need one now. help and that she, she's a free woman. She can decide to do this. Uh, Thank and you, also Tommy. The, these, uh, there was these social signals reinforcing that I, I wasn't the only one thinking this. Other people were thinking this also. Yeah, it's bad. This is a so public that was statement. The state in there's June, any discrepancies in July, here. But then, you know, the months pass and now we're in October. When is it that worries are justified? And so there was a building up of stress in the people who love her. And my position has always been to all of these people, to any friend of Mama JF and to any person involved. My position has been, I saw her go. I saw her wanting to, to go. And so I, I don't need to call the police. But if you feel that it warrants a call to the police, I respect you and you go ahead and call them. And I will not say who ended up calling, but someone, someone ended up noticing that, that somehow Mama JF was missing and, and, and maybe knew about me. I, I don't know. I don't know exactly how it all happened, but someone ended up noticing, hey, there's this girl and her loved ones are, don't know where she is. And so they made a call to the police and this launched a whole investigation uh, that, has been, that I've been involved in for, I don't know, maybe four days, five days, I don't know. Uh, but the feds are coming regularly at my house. They are waking me in the morning. <laughs> What the fuck? I sleep late, uh, and all of my That's loved ones good, sleep late. We're just that way. We are, ah. we are computer programmers living in the night. You know that is just what we do. And Dude, one of the internet, my suspect. show is at seven p.m. Eastern time, and oh, it's not even yeah, the end are. of my day. Uh, so yeah, so they they wake me up every morning. Uh, there are days where they what come the once, fuck? where there are days where they come twice. Uh, JF! There's always a truck of the feds um, in front of my house. Uh, no! And, you know, I, <clears throat> there, there's lots of people making jokes right now on the social media, I'm like, JF, joking! where did you hide the body and all. I knew that this was coming to this no matter what, because we Dude, live in a society that just can't this shit accept off immediately. the cost of liberty. The cost of liberty is you're, you're going to have a bunch your liberty. of females make terrible decisions. But no, I have not killed Mama JF, and I would be very surprised that I'm even considered a suspect uh, well, in any like way. Well, it seems like you are. Uh, because I have left records, I have left electronic traces of, uh, like of my dropping her alive uh, in front of cameras of a, of a gas station. And th there has been plenty of electronic this records like of the fact that she was alive. Many days going after through how he leaving, covered his tracks. Uh, after, Frank sent three dollars. Do you have a spare room for location. Jeff? I do actually, uh, but so, I don't know. I got um, enough heat as it and, is. And yes, you know that there are so many cameras these days and credit cards purchases that I can prove. I would be very surprised that I'm anyhow considered a suspect. But the feds are still very uh, thirsty for information, so they. They keep coming back. And honestly, I'm very impressed by the quality of their work. But it's like, <laughs> they understand also that I'm oh. I'm a guy on the internet. So uh, I'm not. JF. I have a high security home. I'm not going to let them in, you know. But 
It's like okay, they they want to they want every possible detail they can have about Mama JF because they they are on this program of finding Mama JF and and it's fascinating to see a bunch of professionals like this who this really happened? are interested yeah, in terrible. her safety. Let me tell you, I'm I'm a hostile to the government in general, but I, I've always known that within the police force, the vast majority of policemen are excellent. Uh, that ain't true. Just excellent work. Oh, she says, Ralph, Ralph, this man did it. She's I in a freezer it, in someone's basement. Come the fuck on with them. this. They, they understand everything. So, uh, yeah, so that means, yeah, they were, they were I was coming joking around to earlier, but now. Want, they want to know exactly what she said before leaving. They want traces. And again, of, I don't know if he did it, but they definitely think he may have done it for who sure. Could know her, who are friends. And it's like, uh, I pulled Mama JF out of, uh, out of a lifestyle. And I, I never really got acquainted maybe. with this lifestyle. You know, I'm not the kind of I, I don't have respect for human beings, especially not homeless don't drug say this. You know, so it's I'm not the kind of guy who you have no respect for will, human life. Okay, uh, who will approach a female and Definitely become you friends be with right her now. male friends? Uh, so what I did with Mama JF is I extracted her from her misery and from her lifestyle. And I brought her to a greater lifestyle, cleaner. Uh, Why would he say know, that? Less, uh, less craziness. Uh, so that is uh, that is what I've done. And so when That's they right, ask me staff. where could she be, the husband boyfriend's always the first suspect. Guy? Is she friends with these guys? It's like I have just a general idea that Mama Jeff is a super social creature of Montreal, and that's what I've been telling them. Um, and uh yeah so that that that's been uh, press one if he killed so her press two if he didn't the feds being extremely that, but... you know on their path of we need to save everyone uh we need to save everyone uh and and i'm like it's amazing to see the conversations between them and me because i'm actually less motivated at finding mama jeff than they are i've never requested any of this i want to be clear if Mama JF is out there listening to one. this, I want to be clear to, with you, Mama JF. I've not been requesting an investigation against you. I've not been trying to send the feds after you. I've not been uh, wanting to do this episode even. I'm forced to do this episode because there are forum posts right now that your face is on whatever the feds have published. And, and, so, and, and then people are, are, are looking at my tweet today and forming people about this. Uh, and they're like, well, look, he, he calls her Mama JF. He doesn't even call her by her real name. So he's not really interested at them finding <laughs> her. It's like the, there's a lot, a lot of interest to wade in here. First, by naming Mama JF a way that I've never named her publicly, I would only be misleading people. The fact is everyone who interacts with me through this platform knows Mama JF as Mama JF. So the... That's her name for you guys. I'm not going to reveal her real name because honestly, I, I don't even know anywhere. if she wants to be found. And, and that is something you have to wait when, when you're in this situation. I am a bearer of the interest of Mama JF. Maybe she doesn't want to be found. Maybe she, she's on a huge trip, uh, whatever, thinking, going to parties. Maybe she's going to Woodstock in the US. I, I have no clue. But maybe she doesn't want to be found. And that's part of our liberty that I have to defend. JF, you... I'm not going to... Uh, well, the police want to find her. Act like these uh, worried families who want to help someone more than they want to be helped. Because one thing I have learned at enormous cost in my life is don't help someone who doesn't want to be helped. And so I, I'm, I'm like to these feds, I'm like, please, please understand. You're God. going to pursue a fugitive. Let me who guess, has that's not going over well. Crime. She's going to be. JF. She's going to be playing with you, sending you on false traces. She's going to have her hoodie, hiding herself from. Facial recognition cameras she everywhere now. she How enters. smart is she when she like she has dropped all of her Ethan Hunt electronics and Mission behind. Impossible? She's basically 007, but she has no mission. And she's not fleeing she's you like guys Jason for Moore. a crime that she did because she's a good person. She's not going to commit a crime. That's the situation. You guys want to have fun finding her to be sure that 
she's safe, you go ahead. But uh, I to. know I know Will when I see it, and her will was to go out there and and for whatever period. I didn't know when she left whether it would be a two week period like last time, or whether it would be a two year period. <clears throat> she seven hundred live watching this across all platforms. Morocco right now, and she she could have dealt uh, she could have dealt with the locals at the port. She could have talked to a, a boat driver and give him some money and get on the boat. Who the fuck knows? I mean, or and she so could be, that is uh, uh, that is the situation. And in a ditch somewhere, to, to Look, people who are saying, I don't want well, to he doesn't that, make but... all efforts to find her. He doesn't name her in her tweet, or he doesn't show a photo of her. I'm not gonna show a photo of her or name her when this is not my quest. This is not my quest. I had a, I quest. had a visual confirmation from Mama JF live in front of me that she wanted to go away. So as far as I'm concerned, she's still in a trip. She's still out there just tripping, and uh, uh, and I'm not going to publish her image because I don't know whether she consents to it. I'm not going to name her name because I don't know if she consents to it. If she wants to call me and say, Jeff, I She's want missing. to be found, or Jeff, I don't want to be found, she could do it and she know, can do it. So yeah, uh, what I said in my tweet is, if you guys want to help the police, and you've seen Mama Jeff somewhere, you, you've seen her at a gas station, you've seen someone who looks like her, you just call the police or, or check my tweet and you will find a Proton Mail uh, email address. If you don't want to be in contact with the police, just send me an email and I can relay any information that I think is relevant or factual. This is one I'm of not going things. to relay trolling so you guys can already forget the idea of trolling me. Uh, I'm going to I'm relay sure what will. seems to be... Uh, what seems to be important, but it's probably Mama JF is out there having fun, uh, probably exposing <laughs> herself to huge risks. You know, the, the risks of street life and anonymous life. When no one is there to care for you, you are at risk because no one knows. No, no one knows if someone has raped you and just put your body in, in a ditch. And no one is there to check. That, that, that's the consequence of anonymity. That's the consequence of having no one. That is the cost of liberty. But we've chosen to, and Mama JF has fully chosen to, to run with that cost. So it's like she has her husband right here, ready to care for her, ready to give her security and comfort and not demanding anything from her. She chose to expose herself to whatever risk it is, and she totally has the right to do so. Uh, Shadow Ban says, if someone could get away with murder, it's JF. But if someone could get away with faking their death, it's Mama JF. <laughs> that is absolutely correct. I mean, you, you, you have found an interesting duality right here. Uh, absolutely, totally the style of Mama JF to basically fake her death or to just disappear in a way that she can switch identity. I mean, she's uh, and it's amazing <laughs> because Mama JF doesn't watch movies like CSI and 007, or uh, she doesn't watch James Bond and gets excited at it. But her life is a James Bond movie of its own. <laughs> That is what is so amazing. Holy shit. What a, what a crazy woman. Who, but you know, out of the crazy woman who have been in my life, uh, she has always been um, morally straight, you know? Uh, yes, all of this disappearance uh, is causing some kind of shake-up and chaotic thing in my life. I mean, I'm getting woken up by the feds every morning there. They're knocking at my window, and I'm like, what? <laughs> but I, I'd fun. much rather this than, uh, than evil stuff, than attacks on loved ones. I would much rather the chaotic nature of Mama Jeff, but with a kind of moral pillar to it, than uh, anything, uh, 
anything else, anything more evil. Forex says, often when worried families get the state involved to save or help someone, they make it significantly worse for the person. There is very little help the state can give to a person against their own will. That is very wise. And that is what I was telling the policeman, you know, wherever Mama JF is, it was her choice to be there. And it was her choice to run these risks. And she would hate it to hear that all of these people are looking for her. So now there's a whole national campaign <clears throat> to find Mama JF. And I will ask Mama JF and you guys, just to calm all these people, can you please collaborate? Like, go ahead and just, just if you've seen Mama JF alive and you can reassure everyone, and you can calm these people. And you can make so the feds don't knock on my door on an, on an everyday basis. <laughs> that would be very appreciated. Uh, as far as I know from this investigation, as far as my interaction with the police, I understand it to be. They are not interested in any form of persecution of me, say. of Mama you, JF. Of course they are. They are just are. interested at establishing that Mama JF is alive. So Mama JF, uh, if you hear this... Uh, you have a chance there to calm all these people down. Uh, only with a word from you, I'm sure they would be reassured. Uh, Silver Spider says, Jeff is such a loyal guy. I really hope he finds a loyal wife. We should pull all of our super chats together and order him one from Japan. Well, talking about wives from Japan, I mean. Yes, Martin Shkreli. Oh, my God. He scored. He scored the uh, ultimate. Is he really going to try to shift into another topic? Asian. I have never seen this, ladies and gentlemen. The sexy body of the neotenic Asian Don't. combined with the perfect jaw of the European genetics. What, what was that segue? How, how, where the hell does Martin Shkreli find such perfection? Tiffany Fong is new girlfriend <laughs> of on. Martin Scretty. Yes. And moving oh along. God. I'm so happy for you, Martin. I'm so happy. Uh, Daryl says that's almost too much. Ja I mean, th this is the point at which uh, it's this almost is... there. Uh, Balloon Nut says, uh, sends 10 bucks. Thank you so much. He says, are you serious? Did Mama JF really leave the family for no other reason than to be a drifter? I mean, it looks like it. It looks like it. Um, <laughs> I mean, you, you guys know we have seen her here on the show uh, leaving uh, back like a year or two ago. And we have seen her again disappearing. And, you know, just, just before she left in June, I remember a bizarre show. A bizarre show where I'm I accused one right her now. of terrorism uh, because she tried to enter the studio with something that I do not allow at all on this show, like at all. And she knows it very well that there will never be such things on this show. And she attempted to surprise me by surprise opening the door of the studio and came running to my camera. And I had, the, I had the chance to turn off the camera just before she arrived to me because it's like, it's like two meters. That she did a two-meter run to try to violate one of the ultimate rules of the show, a rule so intense that you guys cannot even ever hear it, that you guys cannot, e that I can, cannot even tell you what the rule is. Uh, and... It's like hit like I on the stream JF, for this uh, you, insanity. You're banned from the show for a couple of weeks because that was actual terrorism. Uh, you have attempted to terrorize me, and uh, yeah, so so that was uh, that was maybe well, she got to go then, before huh? she left. Um, I, I don't know that it's directly related, but I think that she was starting to kind of be in a mood of party and in her party mood she had forgotten that there are serious rules in papa jf's uh house uh so yes 
that is basically how I have to say. And this story is so waiting on my mind that uh, I don't think I can. Uh, I don't think I can continue the show tonight with news or stuff of uh, of a frivolous ah. nature. That this is too much on my mind, and that is why I had to take a break. Also, two days. What ago was that segue because, then? Man, uh, just waking up early is something that I had the privilege in my life to attain such guy. a degree of luxury that I can wake up we'll whenever I too. want, whenever I feel like, all the time. But she for the four or five days, yeah. I'm back to a, you know, waking up at 9 a.m. Uh, because the feds are, <laughs> and they, they knock for a long time, you know, they do? <laughs> before they wake me up. Uh, so it's been uh, it's been tiring me because when you, when you change my sleep schedule where I'm super used to this very long sleep where I'm fully rested now suddenly you you mess up my normal sleep and suddenly I'm more tired. Well, God forbid they mess up your sleep. Uh, so any have. information would be appreciated to calm all of these people, and uh, it will have been a short show for tonight, but. Um, that's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. Uh, I can read actually what I wrote today on Twitter. The police in that. Canada is looking for Mama JF because in true Mama JF fashion, she has left our home in June and has disappeared from the map. I am sure that Mama JF is fine. I know she has been safe for at least two days after I dropped her where she wanted in June. Mama JF left our home entirely voluntarily to go live a life of adventure wherever it would bring her. Uh, but since she has electronically disappeared, not connecting to her cell phone or updating me or f her family, I ask anyone who would have encountered her to just notify the police so that they can know she is safe. And I ask her if she wants to leave a note to the police, me or her family to ensure everyone of her safety. If you want to send an encrypted tip anonymously, I can receive them at jfgaryep at proton.me. And uh, someone was asking, did everyone's girl Don't lose her this. shit this summer? Mine went full postpartum bunkers in August. And I said, that's the cost of female liberty. 50,000 policemen, full-time salary, nationwide searches. We could feed the homeless a billion times. Uh, <laughs> just take our society and this is not just good, allow JF. some Save degree of for another control time. by husbands onto their wives. Just basic control of some little financial aspects. So I'm like, no, you won't travel to Peru. JF, don't say this. And so I'm going to decide for you that you won't travel to Peru. Just allow some form of control of husbands over their wives. And you're not going to get even Save like this for another the day. JF craziness here. But if you want that female liberty, Papa JF can provide. And because we are in a liberal society, yeah, I'm going to stand by the ideals of our society. And the ideas of our society first is I cannot keep a woman against her will. I cannot, I cannot go against her request. I cannot intimidate her to stay with me. I cannot manipulate her emotionally to be one way or another. Where is and the so kid? what are the tools I have left as a man? The tools I have left is all right. I respect your liberty. You, well, you want to go out there and there do, is that do one your tool, crazy but... lifestyle. Where do you want me to drop you? I, I will drop you in the safest way and place I can, but that is all I can do. And that is the cost of liberty. Thank you so much for listening, everyone, and much love. Uh, I'm personally uh, very confident that this is a, a big scare. And I hope that Mama JF understands that she is causing too much scare. And Mama JF, I don't, I'm not hostile toward you or anything. I haven't demanded this whole investigation against you i respect uh, wherever you are and i i hope that you're happy just <sighs> give a call to someone just just leave a little email here or there give a clue that it's really you and, and just give a sign of life you will calm all of these people 
Uh, that is it for tonight. Uh, meanwhile, uh, some people have different girlfriends. This is the girlfriend of the guy who got shot uh, in the video that I've shown yesterday in New York. Oh my God, she has a K marks. So, so that's the girl who was standing in front of her dying boyfriend. And I was like, hmm, she doesn't seem so concerned. Like, she seems concerned at a level not of, oh my Jay, God, do this. my boyfriend's going to die. She, she seems more like, oh my God, that is some trouble I didn't want to have to go through tonight. <laughs> uh, and it turns out she's a extreme Marxist with a nose ring. Holy shit, the red flags. Yusamin says, is that why JF kept using the word crack whore around that time? Well, crack whore is my general term for, you know, uh, for women who live at the bottom of society and who are into drugs. So, yes, crack whores is... Uh, I've been alarmed at the reality of crack whores many times in my life. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Much love. And uh, let us remain hopeful. What in the fuck did we just witness? And I didn't think it could get any crazier. And then the ending was just. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC Lofer. Remember to like and subscribe.